Main event to start off the night from Phillips County Raceway. Phillips County, make a little noise as they come and get the green flag. It's hammer down time from Holyoke. Bellum got the start he wanted, he's out in front. He's got Miski tattooed right on his rear end though, and John Lux there as well. Then it's Lindbergh in the 60 car, followed by the 59 of Halfeck rounding out the top five. Alvarado and Clough are sitting back there. They're not out of this thing yet. Miski gonna hit the brakes, he's gonna switch it up to the inside here. Oh, he's digging, digging, digging now. Lloyd Miski turning on the turbo and he's your new leader. Lloyd Miski, oh baby. Lloyd Miski is all over the boom pad now. He's gonna take him down the back stretch and he is digging, digging, digging now. He's trying to run away from the 73 of Bellum. Look in third, Lindbergh and Hallfeck top five. Miski turning and bringing her around, getting up on the wheel there. John Luck on the inside of Bellum and he's charging for two. Bellum got to hold off Luck now and he's gonna slide up into the soft stuff and oh, we got a spin and a big wreck in the back of the pack. Meski with a massive lead in that 32 car. Oh, and then we get Lindbergh sideways and he is being driven up the wall. Meski digging, digging, digging down the back straight now. Nobody gonna catch the man out of champion Nebraska. Lloyd Meski gonna come out of turn four and Meski takes the back-to-back -back checkered flag. Winner, the 32 car of Lloyd Meski. Lloyd Meski. Congratulations, just take a step over here for me. Let's get you on that pretty camera. Back-to-back -back wins out here at Phillips County Raceway. What does it mean for the 32 team to come up here and win back-to-back? -back? Well, it's been a long summer. This is only like the fourth, fifth time I've raced this year, so uh, it's pretty special. Uh, I think I got the car working pretty good, so if I'll just leave it alone now and just drive it, we'll be all right. But uh, thank all the fans for coming, all my sponsors. I got a lot of them. I can't think, thank everybody enough for all the help behind the scenes. And um, we'll try it again here in a couple weeks. Full throttle bringing us to the green flag. Miss Alicia got a great start, but she's got Colt Gibbs right on the outside and Hunter Smith right behind. Clough is trying to shoot the gap there and he will up into third. He's got Norquist on the low line. He was the ham to sandwich in the three wide there for a little bit. Look out, Tanner Clough got up on the high line. It's gonna be tough to stop him when he's up there. Smith on the low line of Alicia Hilzer, but she'll hold him off in lead lap number one. Tanner Clough off the top rope takes another win and Hunter Smith is going to go up and kiss the wall in one and two. And he's trying to find a way around. Oh, Hills are going to spin in three and four. Alicia Hills are drove her in too much and she spun. White flag was out that time. You know what that means, folks. That means you're going to see the 20K of Tanner Clough take yet another checkered flag from Phillips County. Once again, congratulations, sir. Let's make sure perfect camera right up there. I know you got the big racing family, and I'm sure they help you a lot, but what does it mean to have two brothers that are also racing that help you get the car and everything set up? Oh, it means a lot. It helps a ton. Uh, I mean, they've both been doing it longer than me, so they know a lot more than me, and they help out. I uh, mean, more than anyone would think. Uh, it, it's just great. It's, it's fun to travel with them and race with them and work in the shop with them. Uh, thanks to everyone that puts this track on. It was a phenomenal track. Uh, Hunter Smith has shirts for sale. There's a, probably a lot of people that want those. So thank you, everyone. Thank you. Yes, sir. Here comes the green flag. We're hammered down in the modified main. Oh, baby, they're flying. They're making it loud and kicking up the dust. Max Quinn's got the ladies up on the high line with John Burrow in second, followed by Justin Bustle, then Greg Gustus. The 848 car, that's Mr. Troy Douglas, rounds out the top five, going through three and four right now. Oh, Justin Bustle slides right up in front of John Burrow. Great pass by Bustle. Burrow opened the door, coming out of turn four for Bustle to slide up into second. He took advantage, and oh, there's Douglas into the wall in turn two. Max Quint, he's going to get out of turn two. He's going to put the ghost stick to the floor and boogie, boogie, boogie down that back straight. Max Quint in the 14M going to slide her out of turn four, and Max Quint is going to take home the checkered. I'm here with your main event winner, Mr. Max Quint. Man. 
I haven't got to see you what race a whole lot of other places, but I know it has been a struggle up here at Phillips County. Bad luck after bad luck, tough break after tough break. What does this win mean to you, your dad, and the Quint Racing Team? Oh, it's huge. We've been working on this all year. This is actually the first win all year. There you go. Now, the trouble's still falling to us because the whole race, I had no breaks. No breaks. Racing with no breaks. Just floor, pedal to the metal. Oh, my Lord. Anybody you got to thank for helping you get out here and get on the track? I got to thank Happy Jack Barbecue, Whiting Signs, Coin Maintenance, Nicole Law, Billy Quinn LLC, and Marsaw's Auto Parts. We're going to get a fast start hammer down Sport Mods. Great start from Donovan in the one machine. He got up on that high line and he is just boogieing down the back straight. Lunduck in second, followed by Councilman, then it's gonna be Yoxmer and a battle for fifth between Brady Henderson and the 12 double D of Daniels. Henderson wins it, Daniels goes up and off the track and Henderson's gonna spin in four. Here comes Danny on the inside of Henderson. They're door to door through one and two here. Oh, he's still on that wheelbase now. Danny Councilman wants to get back up into that second spot. Oh, he's gonna give it a shot here through three and four on the door here. Little contact and Danny spins. Councilman spins in turn four. Digging, digging, digging down that back straight now. Paul Donovan gonna put her sideways through three and four. The man out of McCook, Nebraska. Gonna lead him to the checker here. Danny on the inside of Henderson. They're trading paid for second. Donovan wins it. Who's gonna take the second place spot? Henderson holds on. Your sport mod main event winner, Paul Donovan. Soft mod light division is hammered down. Oh, Paul gonna get up and boot scoot and boogie around that outside. Steve Paul, your new leader down the back straight. He's got Brian McCauley digging, digging, digging on that inside though. He's got the boom pad to the floor going through three and four and he's looking for more. Three F of Michael Felker. Rim McCauley on the inside of the front stretch. Oh, Rim, hold on. Green flag is flying and we're hammered down in our last main event of the day. Mr. Braden Hilzer, the 8B, going to lead us out of the corner here. And a familiar sight, familiar name called Braden Hilzer takes another main event. The 90 car's got some problems. Oh, now he's got the turbo turned on. He's going to get up and around the inside there. White flag is out. Oh, he's wheeling and dealing now, folks. He's got the right arm controlling the throttle, the left arm steering. And there we go, checkered flag. I have no clue who won. No clue who won, but what a good little race that was.